Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-79 from RC Hippeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the joint of a space frame is subjected to four fo member forces. Member OA lies in the XY plane and member OB lies in YZ plane. Determine the forces acting in each of the members required for equilibrium of the joint. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to resolve each force into its components. So for F3 force, for F3 force, we have only one component which is in the y axis so we have 0i plus f3j plus 0k and let's say this is f4 and for f4 we have only one component which is in negative z axis so we have 0i plus 0j minus 200k now for the force f1 it is written here that member oa lies in xy plane which means the force f1 is also along x and y plane because it is directed on the member oa so I have two components for this force F, F1, one along the x-axis and another one along the y-axis. Now this angle right here is 45 degrees. So for F1, I have negative because this component is directed in negative sense of positive x axis negative f1 sine 45 i plus f1 cos 45 j plus 0 k. Now for the force f2. This is force F2. If I draw here, this is F2 extended. This force, it is written here that member OB lies in YZ plane, which means this is also a force which has two components one in Y axis and another one in the Z axis. So it has two components one along y axis and another one along the z axis now this angle right here is 40 degrees because it is alternate to this angle right here so for f2 we have 0i because it has no component in the x axis minus f2 cos 40 degrees j plus f2 sin 40k now we have resolved all the forces into their components now we have to apply the equations of the equilibrium so i have sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0 we have 0i plus 0i negative f1 sine 45 plus 0i now let's remove this i equals to 0 so from here f1 is equals to 0 this is our first answer Now I have two more equations. We have sum of the forces in 
y direction equals to 0 we have f3 plus 0 plus f1 cos 45 minus f2 cos 40 equals to 0 so we have f1 cos 45 equals to f2 cos 40 plus f3 this is here it is f3 so we know that f1 is 0 so it means the above equation reduces to f3 is equals to f2 cos 40 degrees let's call this equation a now i have one more equation of the equilibrium which is sum of the forces in z direction equals to zero i have zero minus 200 plus zero plus f2 sine 40 equals to zero so from here f2 is equals to 311.145 lbs this is our second answer now if I put F2 in equation A then from equation A I would have F3 is equals to 311.145 into cos 40 and F3 is equals to 238.35 lbs now this is our third answer i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and i already have uploaded the problems of the same chapter from the same book so you can also check them out Thank you.